Hello, hi, my name is Kay, Kay the Paint Lady, and I just wanted to say a little bit about myself before we kind of dive into this introductory video. Um, I've been doing paint and sip classes um, for about seven years now, and I've been full-time uh, for about four years now. I do have two businesses, but this is my primary one. Um, K the paint lady if you knew me when I was simply K's the ladies paint night to K the paint lady and now K paint, K's paint joint one thing I've learned is you gotta evolve and change and you can you know rebrand as many times as you want um, but I'm always gonna be K that's me um, so about um, you so art is about just letting go art is about being. being yourself and being comfortable and just letting things flow and you know just being yourself uh, i don't want anyone to put any limitations on themselves and think that oh because i can't paint like that person i'm not going to do well it doesn't really matter what you're painting it just matters that you are painting and that you're get you're getting that release like if everything's just all bot bottled up we got to release it so we, th we can make room for new thoughts and new experiences and just, you know, just life. So we want to release. So that's what this is about. This is what this art therapy box is all about. And we're going to get into that. Today, I give myself permission to create. I am clearing my mind and opening my heart up to creativity. Today, I give myself permission to create. I am clearing my mind and opening my heart up for creativity. I am clearing my mind and opening up my heart to creativity. I am clearing my mind and opening my heart up to creativity. Okay, so let's get right into it. So first thing you need is the space. And it doesn't have to be a lot of space at all. You can, you can paint on the floor. You can paint wherever you feel comfortable in the moment that you want to paint. Um, so I'll show you my space and it's just a table. Okay, so you set the vibe for your own space. It doesn't have to look like nobody else's space. The thing about it is it's your space. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and move on to the supplies so I can give you an overview of what to expect and how to use the supplies or answer any questions that you may or may not have. All right, so the first one is the canvas, um, the surface of whatever we're gonna be painting on. Mostly we're gonna be painting on these canvas rolls. So this is primed on this side, on the other side it's not primed. I always wanna paint on the white size and this will come in two different sizes. Um, just something to paint on. Okay, next, your paint will come in a plastic bag. I just put all the paints together. So then we're going to have um, yellow, red, blue. Those are your primary colors. And you can mix to any colors using this. And I'll go over the color theory in the wheel in just a few minutes. Okay, and so then we have black brown and white so we, uh, make sure that you keep the lids on it so that they don't dry out you don't want them to dry out um so after each time you paint just put the lid back on it so that you can use it for your next project basically okay so we're going to move on to our brushes so this is the brush that we use to cover backgrounds like it's really good it's a called a rush a wash brush <laughs> And it's used to like cover big areas of um, of your canvas. And then this one is a foam brush. And it does pretty much the same thing to cover areas, but it doesn't give like a like um that fullness that this does. This one kind of like you want like texture or you, or um, like you want to make like a bush or an afro that type of thing. So that's pretty much the foam brushes for. Um, the foam brush, you can't really clean it as well as you can um, with this brush. This brush you can use over and over and over and over and over again as long as you take care of it. Um, this is just a smaller version of it and this is used for like detailing. So like, boom, boom. 
and then like if you want to make like trees it's like a like a line going down we want to make like and then like something bigger it goes this way so it's just about moving this little detailing brush um around um this one is a palette knife this is a classic one and then this is like spreading butter like spreading butter on it it gives it like a different feel we'll be using this and then um i'll be giving you tips throughout videos and stuff so taking care of your brushes okay so like i said earlier acrylic paint dries fast okay so we don't want to dip our brush into red leave it out and then like 20 minutes later the red is going to be stuck to this um brush so when you're not using it for long periods of time just dip dip it into the um water just dip it into the water leave it there and because once it's wet it'll be fine all right so you don't want to dry out your brush okay that's the fastest way to ruin it so you want to keep it wet to keep the um to keep the acrylic paint from drying out basically um and then you always want to clean it when you're done fully clean it um and so there's no paint on it and then that's taking care of your brush all right so next you'll need a cup of water um and this is for cleaning your brushes and putting your brushes in there this is just a spill proof um cup so if you spill it the water is going to be very minimal and then this is where I just keep my brushes in. Um, this unscrews. And then you can just use that. So you can use a normal cup. You don't, you don't need some napkins. I'm, a, I'm messy. So. Okay, so then you can use a paper plate, foam plate, a uh, piece of uh, wood, cardboard. Um, this does come with your boxes of palette. This is for mixing your brushes. So you can take your uh, paint and just pour a tiny bit pour a tiny of a bit of it first that way um you're not wasting paint and it's better to need more than you know not have enough so this is what this for is for mixing i wouldn't recommend mixing in here because then if this turns green then now you don't have no more blue that type of thing okay. and then very 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 optional um is your apron this comes with the first subscription box. Acrylic paint, it does stain if you don't get the paint out right away. Okay, so then the next thing is in your boxes, each box will come with um, a color theory um, card. And then it comes with like mixing like, okay, so um, how do I get to purple? How do I get to orange? How do I get to teal? It's all on here so that you can um, easily see it. Um, or you, maybe you're stuck like, oh man, I don't know what comes with orange then we have uh, this color chart where okay so maybe blue goes with that type of thing so then that's the color theory um, it talks about the primary the secondary warm cool colors complementary colors so it goes into depth like it gives you a chart about what those things mean so that you have a better idea of how to um, put color onto your canvas because I think that's very important. All right, so the box. So this is the box. Um, and then this is the color theory that I was telling you about and the, um, the apron and all the materials that we just went over. Please keep in mind that the first box comes with apron and the paint brushes. It won't come every month. So I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys for subscribing to the Art Therapy Box. Um, the next step is to unbox if you haven't already. Take a look at your supplies. Um, you should receive three cards with your box. Um, and then an email that will um, give you some video links so that you can follow along with me. Um, if you have any questions about anything, you can always email me or you can text me. Um, but again, thank you. I appreciate you. And um, let's begin.